Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tia here. If you are new, please like and subscribe. For today's video, I'm doing a little grocery haul. So today is finally February, okay? January is finally over after 407 million fucking days. So February, for me, I consider it the new year because, you know, January still got some BS from last year in it. And January is kind of like a slow month and I don't get motivated until February, okay? So right now one of my new year's resolutions is to eat healthy and eat more consistently because some of y'all know i weigh 120 pounds right now and is technically the biggest i've been in my life but obviously i'm still skinny or whatever and i'm still trying to gain weight still trying to do fitness blah 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 so part of fitness and gaining weight is obviously eating three meals a day which i suck at doing because i'm at work for like half of it and I can't eat lunch but um I just spent $200 on groceries and it's like I have 10 bags bro like why is everything so expensive but anyways I'm gonna show y'all what I got it's mostly like vegetables and then I got some meat and whatever because obviously I need to increase my calorie and protein intake for me to be able to gain weight and then I need to exercise at the same time so I can get a shape or whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just show y'all. First thing I got is this little baby romaine spinach. Um, in the past, I didn't like spinach and I would be like, ew, who the fuck is eating that? And I still low-key don't like it, but I've been putting it in my pasta and everything, but I'm not gonna eat it like by itself. Like how they be boiling it and shit. I'm not eating it like that because that's a weird texture. So I put it in my pasta and this lasts a really long time because I only use a little bit. So got some spinach and then I got some little baby peppers. These are the only peppers I use because they're like so little and it just adds some color to the food even like though it really doesn't taste like anything. And I don't like buying the big peppers because then I feel like I end up wasting those. So these are like a good size. I got some salad. This is just romaine lettuce. And I know you're not really supposed to buy the one in the bag because some of them have been like recalled and shit. But like, I don't like ripping apart lettuce because last time I did that, I found a spider in there. And obviously there could be a spider in here too, but I feel like there's like less possibility. But I don't know. So this is the lettuce that I get. I got some green onion to use when I'm cooking as well. I think these are only like 78 cents for like a lot. So I got this and I got some basil. It's like falling out of the damn container, but this is, I, ha I have never bought this, but I'm gonna add it in my food and see if that increased the flavor. And I got another lettuce. This one is called garden lettuce. So there's like red leaf lettuce in there and like some carrots and onions just to change it up a head of broccoli because I'm trying to eat fresh broccoli. Sometimes we buy like frozen vegetables, but obviously fresher is better. I got two bags of these gold bite sized potatoes. So I guess, I don't know if I gotta put them in the oven or whatever, they're just like mini potatoes because that's what I usually get at restaurants. And they look like this after they're cooked, but that's what I usually get at restaurants. So I was like, let me see if I can make it myself. And then I got like five cans of corn. I also got some tomatoes to add to my pasta. Got some asparagus and that's a lot in there and it'd be expiring really fast. So I gotta make sure I cook that right away. I got some coleslaw. I didn't get macaroni salad this time because I feel like I've been eating too much of that. So I was like, let me get some coleslaw instead. Then I got some strawberries. It was probably stupid to buy this little container for like three dollars when i could have got a huge container for four dollars but i don't i don't know i need to eat more food so i should have bought that i got some hash browns for breakfast because i need some new breakfast food got some apples i haven't eaten apples in 20 years so i need this for my colon i got some baby carrots because these are my favorite carrots okay i like eating stuff in mini form and then some little crescent rolls. These are the rolls we get because there's like extra buttery in there. I got these little heart-shaped cookies for Valentine's Day because I'm gonna be alone. Got some sazon with saffron. It's a Spanish spice, by the way. I got some pasta. I don't really care what brand of pasta I buy. I know, I think my mom usually buys like 
Barillas or some shit like that. But this one is just regular penny pasta. And then I got bow tie pasta. Bow tie is probably my favorite pasta. I got some cilantro lime rice to see if it tastes the same as my chipotle burrito or whatever. So I'm gonna try and make this like that exact picture on the box. I got some extra hot chili habanero hot sauce to put on my chipotle burritos because I like spicy foods. Some Swiss rolls for my dad's snacks. A lot of cheese because I think this month I'm gonna make mac and cheese because I made it for Thanksgiving and it turned out pretty good. It was a new recipe that I found from TikTok. So I'm gonna try remaking it and it better taste the same or else I'm gonna be mad. I got some tortellini pasta. It's like this tiny ass bag, but there's a lot in there because last time I made it, it filled up the whole pot and it was two for five. So this one has spinach in it and then the other one has ricotta cheese in it. And then I got some tartare sauce for me shrimp. And then I got some tortilla shells for when I'm making tacos because I think I'm making tacos today. I don't know if I should do a video on that though because last time I did cooking videos, nobody watched it, bro. Like y'all don't wanna see me cook, so. Um, and then I got some Milano's for my snacks at work. And then I got two bags of shrimp, bro. But usually for um, dinner, we just get like shrimp or chicken. So I also got like other things I'm gonna try out. But I got two bags of the extra large shrimp and I'm, I'm gonna take the tails off before I cook it because one thing about me is I hate taking off shrimp tails when I'm trying to eat my food. So I don't know why restaurants do that. I also got this salmon. This is stuffed salmon. I think. Oh, there's two in here and you basically just put it in the oven for like 30 minutes, I think. And then, you know, it, it tastes like salmon and it's, it's like stuffed with like crab meat in there. So it's really good. The chicken breast, but this one is the ones that are like already cut up because I'm making tacos. And last time, I don't know, I low-key hate cutting chicken. So I'll do that if I have time because I also did buy the one that's uncut. I bought the chicken tenders that are like uncut. So all of these, they come in like strips and then you basically have to like take that little squishy part out of it and then cut it into cubes. So that's why I like buying this cubed one the better. But sometimes like these be fresher and it has like more chicken in here, obviously. So this I'm gonna cook when I have time. But obviously the, like the thing that I hate about like chicken and just cooking in general is that you have to cook stuff before it expires. And that's really annoying got some ground beef um i don't know since 2020 i feel like meat has just been tasting weird like even when i used to get like wendy's burgers or something like that so i don't even get burgers from wendy's anymore i, I be getting chicken sandwiches now but um the meat be tasting weird so whenever my mom would make tacos and i guess like it, i don't know if it would sit in the grease or whatever overnight and then i would eat it the next day and then i would literally have to like throw up after eating that. So I don't know if it's just cause it was sitting in the oil or I just can't eat it on the second day or like I have to eat it fresh, I don't know. But um, I literally just got this for my family, but I usually eat um, chicken tacos when I make tacos. Mild Italian chicken sausage, I got this because I like to chop this and put it up in my pasta as well. And then this is something new I'm trying. It's like breakfast sausage, like the stuff that you get at restaurants obviously, um, but it was only $2, I don't know why. But um, I think there's pork in here. I'm not sure because my mom doesn't eat pork. So this is me and my dad are just going to be eating this, I guess. Um, but yeah, they look like this. And obviously, like, I hope they don't take forever to cook either because that's annoying. I got some cuties because, like I said, I'm trying to eat some fruit. So I don't know. These are just easy to peel. I've been eating these since middle school. Some milk. Um, I do want to try, like, almond milk and shit like that. But those be costing seven dollars and it's like what if i don't even like it like can i get a sample of it first that's what i hate about like trying new things because if you don't like it you just wasted seven dollars and a whole bottle of milk you know but it's like i do want to get into that because obviously that's healthier than cow's milk got some rolls these are just white house rolls it says the world's most perfect roll and they look pretty soft um i did not realize they expire in two fucking days but so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to eat all that tonight i guess but um then i got some bread and that's funny because usually i check the expiration date when i'm buying bread but for those i guess i just picked them up because they looked good 
Um, at least the bread doesn't expire until Valentine's Day, though. I also got some juice because that's what low-key motivated me to go to the store because I haven't had juice in forever because usually I know what type of juice I like and then everybody buys whatever juice they, they like. So it got to the point where I had no juice in the fridge for myself and I like drinking juice with my meals and then I'll drink like water during the day or whatever. Um, so this is my favorite juice. It is the Passion Fruit Juice Cocktail by Welch's. They changed their shape of the bottles because I know their bottles used to be like bigger than this country time lemonade so my mom used to make this like manually like buy the little powder and then put it in the, the pitcher or whatever so i was like oh they actually sell it so i don't know if it's gonna taste the same or may, might be like a little bit less sugary because you know how black people be putting too much of the powder into the mixture or whatever so this might taste a little bit more watery than i'm used to i got the mango pineapple juice cocktail by Welch's. This is also another one of my favorite ones. And I also got some crayon raspberry juice because last time my mom bought the wrong cranberry juice, okay? Like I told her, I was like, oh, buy me some cranberry juice when you're at the store. And she bought like the, um, the I guess it's like the OG cranberry juice, how it's like 100% cranberry and it's like really like sour, you know? But um, this one actually has flavor to it because I don't know, I don't see how people drink the other versions of it because I know there's like 50 versions of cranberry juice, but that's, Cran raspberry is the only one I can drink. And last but not least, I got some beef sirloin steaks. And when did these expire? These don't, oh, this expires in two days too, damn. Okay, so I gotta cook this um, because my I guess my dumbass was looking at like the, um, the price instead of the date when I bought this. So I'm gonna have to make this. So I guess I'm making, I'm gonna make sh sh chicken tacos as well as steak tacos. So we're gonna be, like Chipotle up in here, so. I also went to Dollar Tree, um, cause I wanted to get these little Martinelli's sparkling cider. They basically taste the same as sparkling cider. And I don't know, they're, they're just like mini bottles. So it, it's not like a lot, but whatever. Um, I also got some little containers for when I meal prep. And the thing about these is that's good is that it comes with two in a pack. So this is like four containers right here. Um, because I wanna start eating consistently so i'm gonna have those ready for me like when i come home from work and like my food will already be made and all i have to do is warm it up and then i also got this louisiana brand hot sauce i have no idea if it's gonna be hot because like i said it's from dollar tree so you're gonna have to see and i got this for work a little welch's juice then i got these little um condiment cups like this is what you put your salad dressing in because i feel like whenever i put my salad dressing on my salad and then, you know, I put it in the fridge for lunchtime, it, my salad gets soggy. So I was like, let me just get some containers. That way I can like separate it. But yeah, that was it for the grocery haul. It's it's like, it didn't even seem like that much stuff for $200. Um, but I'm gonna try and be consistent. I wanna gain like at least five pounds this month. But the thing that I hate about being consistent is that you have to keep doing it or else you're gonna lose all your gains. But we're gonna try, I wanna try and gain like at least 10 pounds this year. I might also have to change the birth control that I'm on because when I first got on birth control, I think I gained like five pounds from that. So I feel like maybe if I switch to a different birth control, I can gain even more weight because it's like, I, I don't know, I'd be seeing people on birth control, they're like, oh, I went from 100 pounds to 200 pounds. And like, obviously 200 is like too much, but um, I don't know, just like 20 pounds. Give me 20 pounds, I'll be good. But anyways, that was it for this video and stay tuned for more. Bye.